Hi everyone, Tams here. I quickly wanted to show you what I am doing for the month of February for Incorimo. If you're not familiar with that, I'll link something below that explains it. But basically, it's a month to be writing a letter every day if you can. And we're halfway through February and I have been unable to write up until now. So I am planning for the latter half of February to be writing letters and catching up. So I have my letter writing desk. It's not decorated for any type of season right now. It's just it's normal in its normal state. But I have everything ready to come in here in the evenings and try to put pen to paper and write a, a letter or two each night. And I wanted to just show you the setup. It's very similar to my Christmas setup. I do have my mail envelopes already made up and I'll have a video at the end of this showing you how I put those together. I have my stack of letters to respond to, a few labels, some pens for addressing envelopes, my Tomoe River paper. I do have a new Lamy fountain pen that I will be trying out and I have that inked up with this P.W. Ackerman and it's a Garuda Road and I have got you can see I've got ink all over my fingers good times I have my candle that I light so that I can do my very quick wax setup I don't have my spoon out or anything and I can seal them and then a few people have asked about I, I featured this at Christmas my parents gave this to me this is a vintage inkwell, which I plan to hopefully store my black calligraphy ink in. I'm just not sure if it's going to seal properly yet, so I've got to do a little research there, but I want it to sit here at all times. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, let me take you into the studio and I'll show you how I made the mail art. Okay everyone, I am here in the studio and this portion of the video I'm going to attempt to do a process video on my mail art for the month of September. Uh, before we get into that, I want to show you the materials because people usually ask about the materials. For stamps, I am using these red vintage love stamps and just vintage red stamps that I found at uh, Verde Studio online. You can look them up. I bought these myself, but they had a really nice collection of red uh, stamps, vintage stamps, and I wanted to utilize red this month, of course, because it's Valentine's. I'm also going to be using my stamp set from uh, um, the Par Av Avion. I've done a video on these before from Cavallini and Company. You can find these uh, in multiple places, but I will link them below because sometimes you can find them on Amazon for a good price. For envelopes, I'm going to use a combination of these airmail envelopes. And I tell you, I have a big stash of these, but they were very difficult to get. So I'm not really going to uh, share with you where I got them because I ordered them, yes, on Etsy but it took over a month to get these. They came from somewhere over in Asia, so I would not uh, necessarily recommend that if you want some of these quickly, but I do see uh, airmail envelopes all the time on various um, Etsy shops, so you can explore that and find some very similar, I'm sure. The craft envelopes I am using are actually from my, whoops, Paper Tam's letter writing kit, which I originally made for a pin show last year, and then the very kind people at the Paper Seahorse uh, offered to sell these. So they do actually sell my kits online, and I will link it below if you're interested in that sort of thing. But this just is some of my favorite materials, which I'll be using this month. Of course, I use the Tomoe River paper for my letter writing paper. And then the mail art kit itself has all types of vintage papers and ephemera and things like that and I'll be incorporating some of that into my decorating this month and then for washi tape I am using a set of Tim Holtz postage related stamps that you can find at craft stores and also online I'll link it below and for my wax seal of course I have the red wax and then I have one of the first um, seals that I ever got and it's a heart shape and I got this gosh about 15 years ago from Pier 1 so I have no idea if it's still available but those are the materials so let's get started <laughs> 
Okay, so here are several envelopes that are ready to go. I will take them over to my letter writing desk so that all week all I have to worry about is writing the actual letter and then addressing the envelope. Some of my international mail, I'll probably add a few other stamps. I'll try to coordinate color um, and I will seal it off most likely with my heart seal and try to keep that as thin as possible so it will go through the post office machines and that's as simple as it is folks I just taken it start with an envelope and just kind of build some layers on it I will be addressing the outside of the envelopes probably either with a calligraphy pen if I have time or I'll just use a red sharpie for the Valentine red and Chinese New Year themes of the month but I um, hope this was helpful and thanks for watching bye